Hello, my name is Bertrand. I'm an agent here with this company. I'm an original vice president with the company. Uh, today, I'm going to show you how to activate your services successfully and, and start your process to fix your credit, okay? So uh, whenever you enroll as a customer or maybe as an agent, um, and if you're an agent, you also need help with your credit. Your, with your credit. It is very important that you activate the services because if you do not activate the services, the company won't know what's going on with your credit to actually start the process to dispute the negative items. So I'm going to show you what it looks like to start that process for you. Okay, so uh, we're going to log out uh, real quick. So what you need to do, you need to go on the UCS account. Uh, the website should be the UCS member account dot net. Uh, when you first sign up, you're going to receive an email or a message from a corporate office with that information. So if you need to fix your credit and enroll, this is very important to take that steps or you will never see any results in your credit report and you're going to get upset. Okay. So once you go on that website, you need to log in to activate the services. What do I mean? To log in is your email, the email that you use to enroll. You're going to type that email and the password is the last four number of your social security. Okay, so we're going to log it into the demo account. So I'm logging in right now. You guys are going to see what it looks like. So once you log in, this is the demo account for customer. You're going to see three options. The first option is the shop for less. Uh, if you go ahead and create an account and activate that, that service is going to help you save money uh, with the, the, the company, the store that we partner up with, the merchant that we partner up with. When you go shopping, they're going to give you cash back, which is real value, real money that you'll be able to use to keep going back and shop at your favorite store, okay? So this is a great tool, help you save a lot of money. Now we do have a customer referral program. When a client comes in, if you refer five people to the program, you're gonna get your monthly fee of $89 with as long as those five customers stay in the program, fixing their credit, your 89 will be waived. All you gotta do is think of five people that you know, type their name right here, click on refer now and put their name and then we contact them, they enroll, boom, you get your $800 waived. You don't pay that anymore as you're getting your credit repair, okay? Now, the, the third uh, service that we offer, which is the most important, to be honest, is the protection plan. This is what's going to help you with your credit. So you want to click on access protection plan account. Once you click on access protection plan account, so you're going to see all the services that we offer uh, when it comes towards your financial uh, situation, okay? So what do we offer? We offer uh, credit restoration. This is one of the most important one because this is the one that's gonna give us access to pull your credit report. And once we get that full credit report, this is how we're gonna dispute the negative items. We're gonna create the PDF, the dispute letters in order to remove the negative items off your report. So what you wanna do is click on credit restoration. Once you click on credit restoration, you're gonna see where it says access. Uh, it's gonna say activate. Uh, it's gonna say pull credit report because this is a, a demo account. So it's saying access UCS account. But when you're a new customer, it's gonna say pull credit report. At the top, you're just gonna click on pull credit report and it's gonna ask you if you wanna opt in into the PDF uh, version or not. So PDF mean the dispute letters can get mail, mail out to your house. If you opt out, you receive the package. Okay, and then you can go ahead and, and, and mail out the dispute letters. But if you have access to a printer to speed up the process, what do you do? You opt in and you print out the letters because you get them available sooner in, inside a po customer portal. Okay, so that way you get access to the dispute letters much faster and send out the dispute letters uh, to actually dispute the negative items on your credit card. Now, it's very important you did that steps because you will not see any result on your credit if you do not send out the dispute letters. If you have any issue, any problem at all, you'll be able to call customer service and they will help you and take care of that process for you. So once you click on pull credit report, you get the option to opt in or opt out. There should be a video that explains the process. You can watch the video and then at the end it say continue process. You continue the process. They're gonna ask you a few questions. Once you answer the questions, uh, it's gonna say uh, either obtaining full credit report soon in process or it's just gonna uh, go green and say access to CS account. I mean, everything went through and we did uh, indeed pull your credit report, okay? So once this is done, to find the dispute letters, if you had opt-in, you click on here and up here, they're gonna show you the initial credit score that you started with, right? And uh, you can hit there, PDF dispute letters, and then they're gonna give you option to download the letters down here. Once you click on there, it's gonna ask you for a password, the password is the last four number of your social security. And then you can get the dispute letters to print them out and go mail them out 
with the copies of your driver's license and your social security as proof of identity and uh, address so you can dispute the negative items, okay? Now, uh, you can check the item that's being uh, disputed right here. They're gonna show how many items you started with and what's being disputed or not. And they'll let you know what's being deleted. Once you receive uh, those uh, information back from the credit bureaus, you're gonna mail it to us, okay? Now let's go back to the service, okay? So we're gonna go back to, to the portal, customer portal. So uh, credit builder, there's information that teach you about credit. If you don't know nothing about credit, this video will explain you what's a credit report and how your credit report works. And this is the tips and technique what to do, not to do, to help increase your credit score. Also, we have certain documents that you can print out and mail out maybe for a late uh, payment forgiveness or um, maybe a settlement. You get access to those uh, former, to those uh, letters, simple, that you can print out and actually send out if you wanna do it on your own. And uh, we also got credit attorney. So if you've been victim of identity theft, you can just click on contact credit attorney and you can select if somebody stole your identity and explain what happened. Debt harassment collector, debt collectors keep calling your line at a certain time, you know, they threaten you to put you in jail and certain things like that. Or a credit error where somebody has information went on your credit report, you can actually report the error and then you go ahead and submit everything. And one of the credit attorney will contact you, okay? Now, credit monitoring, this is very important so you can know what's going on with your credit. You can see where you started and where you're going. You click on another member now if you don't have the smart credit, if you're a new customer. And then once you do so, they're gonna ask you certain information. The sponsor code, you leave that empty, you don't need that. And then you keep going, they're gonna show you your actual credit score once you create that account, what you started with, and what will be your further credit score. This is a very important to do. Uh, now let's go back inside the customer portal. Third thing I'll say to do is identity monitoring, act, activate privacy or more. See right now, because it is a demo account, it shows that it's been done yet. If you was, if you're a brand new customer, it will say activate privacy or more, not access privacy or more. You would click on activate privacy or more. There'll be a message that pops up and let you know, hey, within a week or so, we will uh, forward you, email you the information in order for you to log in into the privacy or more. And uh, anything else is optional. We do have option for any clients or agent that sign up uh, to set up a will. Is right here. You click on will and trust, and then you just click on. Um, access your will and then from there you're going to fill out the information a will is pretty much to leave uh whatever you have to your kids or your family member or whoever you like to so if you have assets like such as a, a house maybe uh bank accounts with money maybe any businesses under your name you can set up a will online you do everything it's at no additional cost the company will set up the will for you and forward everything to your mail you get a uh, a copy of your will and that way you have your will set up for all your asset uh to be passed down to wherever you would like it to be passed down to okay we also got uh items that teach you how to save money uh we got debt payoff that teach you how to pay down your debt and save money on interest rate uh we also got budgeting tools uh, all those great services that we have here, you can go on your own term and check them out. But the three main important services that you want to go go ahead and, and check it out is the credit restoration, okay? And also the credit monitoring and also identity monitoring. So if you're a client or an agent, those are the first three steps you need to do. Credit restoration, okay? And then you want to do the credit monitoring and do the identity monitoring. Everything else is optional. Okay, so this is very simple process. Once you send out the letters, any response you get back from the credit bureaus, you want to email it to us, fax it to us, uh, call corporate office, let us know, because the dispute process will be happening at least three to five times. This is how you get uh, the good result that you need to actually remove all the negative items. Everything will not come off your credit by one, by just sending the dispute letter one time. And if you do send out the dispute letters and you don't hear back from the credit bureaus, it's been three to four weeks, I advise you to contact us or corporate so we can give you the information to call the credit bureaus. You got to call them and let them know, hey, it's been three weeks, four weeks, I sent out my dispute letters. You guys have not responded to us so you can know what's going on. So you need to stay on top of the process to make sure you're getting good results. Okay, make sure that the letters are sent out. Make sure that you go in the credit builder, uh, to actually start building your positive credit okay make sure if you don't have any credit cards you get a secure card with an agent that got you started uh make sure that you also get the credit my rent the credit my rent will help you increase your score we're going to report your rent to your credit and by reporting your rent to your credit that's going to help increase your score and extra 
50 to 100 points. So we're going to report that should be paying you already on time for the past year, two years. That's going to help boost your score an extra 50 to 100 points. Okay, make sure you do got the secure card. And if you already have credit cards, make sure you pay down your credit card. Make sure you don't have any late payments throughout the three to six months process that we actually work in your credit for you. Uh, any dispute letters that you sent out and you didn't hear back from the credit bureaus, make sure you call us and so we can give you the information to call Equifax, Tracing and Experience to check on them, asking them what, why is it taking so long they have not responded to you. And any response letters you get back from them, make sure you scan those documents and send it to us uh, through mail or fax or scan it and email it to us so we can update your profile. And then we can send you a second wave of dispute letters and a third wave of dispute letters because the dispute process is not gonna happen at one time. Uh, this is why we say it takes three to five months to see results. Make sure you stay on top of things. You keep in touch with us in our corporate office, okay? Now, all the other services is optional. You can go ahead and check them out yourself. But the three main thing, remember, is the credit restoration, the credit monitoring, okay? And the identity monitoring. Those are the three main things you need to take care of. Uh, thank you for everybody that actually uh, pay attention and watch the, the video that I made just to break down some of the information for you guys. Hope that helps you. Um, and also, if you want to update your profile and change your information about your, your name, address, you can just click here, uh, click right here, and then you can input your information or change any information or even change your password. Uh, the corporate office still give you option to cancel your services. It should be uh, down here somewhere. It's going to give you the option to uh, just cancel your services and, and stop it at any time. Uh, thank you, everybody, for listening to the information. So.